about to go to Thompson's sawmill and have a very large white oak log sawn to make these floor timbers out of, and it's also going to have uh, this forefoot in that same log. So it's quite a large diameter log. And see here that this is the center of the tree right here, right in the middle of that floor timber. Now that's what's called boxed heart. It's not the greatest situation because what happens is it checks around the heart like that. So we don't want to do that because we're going to install the floor timbers green. So what we want to do is have them custom sawn onto that log. And we're going to have the heart of the tree either over here or over here. So what happens is the annual rings are going to be going right through that log from one side to the other, and that would be referred to as quarter sawn or edge grain. And what that does is it reduces the amount that the timber will shrink and change shape in this direction. You can see I've extracted the forefoot out from on top of the keel and out from underneath the floor timbers in the mass step area here. And I've got it out on a couple of sawhorses here. This is the piece that we're going to try to get out of that large log out at the sawmill. And like I say, the annual rings in this log were on a kind of a diagonal to the log right here, and the medullary ray is going through it that way. We wouldn't want that because our log's gonna be green, and we don't want it to shrink into a rhombus. So basically, we wanna maintain a nice rectangle after it's sawn out, and if we quarter saw it out of that log, that's what it'll do. We've made a pattern here of it, and it's uh, really a tracement of the outside shape of the timber. And then there's some lines on the other side of it that represent the beard and line and the inside rabbit and those things, but we can show you more about that later. You can see that this uh, is all black here, and what that is is a migration of steel electrons through that area, and um, it's got electrolysis problems. The, uh, the uh, moisture in the wood conducts electricity because of the ions in the salt water, and uh, it burns the lignin out from between the fibers of the wood. The wood becomes weak, and the pressure of the caulking has actually snapped it off from the inside rabbit line forward. So it doesn't show much damage around the screw holes here where the planking was fastened to it because those were bronze screws, and these were iron bolts going through here. So the iron bolts had deteriorated, and that's what's caused most of the problems with it. It's got a number of other problems. The heel end had a few problems, and so also did the bow end, but this is the major problem that we've had with it. The timber seems to have stayed pretty stable, but we're after getting the annual rings to go right directly through it this way and the medullary rays in this direction. So we're going to have the center of the tree when we cut it out, either on this side of the timber, directly in line with the bolt holes here, or on the other side of the timber. Depends on the curvature and how it looks when we roll the log over and things. So we're off to the sawmill now to get that log up on the mill and see what we get out of it. We've come up with this here log as being the largest white oak log in the yard. And obviously, when I buy something that I want to cut a timber out of, I want to cut it out of the largest log I can get it out of because I don't want it to have any heart in it. This, all the timbers and everything that we cut out of this log are going to be clear of the heart completely because of the size of the timber. If it was a smaller timber, it wouldn't allow us to do that. So it's very important to me not to have the heart in the timber and this is the log we've come up with. Its actual name is Quercus alba. You can tell that by the look of the bark. It seems to me that this log, the quality of this log is just fantastic. We're down at the butt end of this log that I've purchased now, and it's quite a large log. It's almost three feet across. This is the felling notch that they cut in it to fell the tree, and it was obviously fell in that direction. The heart of the tree is way over on this side. So it's going to allow me to get quite a large timber out of this side right here, and that's what I need to make that four foot for the eight meter. And then we're going to get some four bys for floor timbers out of it and everything. But this gives you a, an idea of what the butt end of a log this size looks like. This is the small end of the log. The bottom end of the log is much bigger in diameter than this. And you see a little uh, knot in it here because this is, uh, was cut off just above a large branch on this end. So. The log appears to be about 20 feet long, but we're only going to use maybe 18 feet of it because we're going to buck it off here on this end. I'm looking to get a very large timber out of this thing that's about 14 inches by 8. And that is going to come out alongside the hot right here with the annual rings going through the timber this way. But uh, in some position, this log is going to get rolled, and in some position, I am going to take a 4-inch swath right down the middle of it like this to get quarter sawn uh, 
material with the annual rings going across the board like that, so it'll be like four inches by 12 inches, and that's gonna be made into floor timbers for the eight meter that we're working on. And then out of the same log, I'm gonna get some six by stock for a boat that we're working on in Bristol. And then also the uh, four foot, the entire four foot for the eight meter we're working on is gonna come out alongside the heart as well. So there's gonna be a discussion between myself and the Sawyer when we pick this thing up and get the box peeled off of it and take a good look at it and decide which way to orientate it on the mill and which way there's the p best potential to get the timbers out of it. I can't really decide that right here right now because I'm kind of looking at the wrong end of the log here for that. But what's going to happen is we're going to have a discussion about how it's going to be sawn. Then as we saw it, we're going to take a look at how it's developing and make some decisions as to whether or not we're going to get a six by out of it or a four by. So I'll be involved in the sawn at the same time. Thank you.